There are special issues that may occur during a root canal treatment, undesirable issues. Here we will only discuss special complications, general treatment complications such as, for example, nausea or vertigo after local anesthesia are not mentioned here. The most frequent complication occurs when not all root canals are properly filled. As you can see in this animation, the tooth has four canals and only three are filled. Also, frequently, canals are not filled completely down to the tip of the root, as can be seen in this image. The reasons for not filling down to the tip of the root are manifold. Severely curved canals, the breaking of a root canal instrument, an unmotivated practitioner, an unskilled practitioner, or an inexperienced practitioner. Other complications during root canal treatments are the perforation of the canal or the crown of the tooth, usually resulting in an extraction of that tooth. The previously mentioned instrument break is a complication that is not rare, but it may be prevented if the instruments are exchanged on a regular basis. Overfilling the canal is another complication. It is particularly unpleasant if the teeth border on the maxillary sinus or the nerve canal, as pain and inflammations may result. The excess material doesn't always have to be removed. A removal of the material should be done if you experience pain and or if the bone reacts with an inflammation. This is checked through semi-annual x-ray images. Excess material should also be removed if it is located near the mandibular nerve or the maxillary sinus, even if there is no pain. In the animation, you see how during a root canal treatment, filling material is unintentionally pressed into the nerve canal of the lower jaw. Dark discolorations of the tooth after a root canal treatment are indicative of blood and careless work during the treatment. Normally, the canal should be clean and free of blood and bacteria. If this is not the case, bacteria will break down the blood, and the iron present in the blood pigment hemoglobin will darken the tooth area. All of these complications can be avoided if a cofferdam, optical magnification, and clean, well-maintained instruments are used. The risk with badly filled teeth is the occurrence of a bone infection and or cyst even after several years. Patients often talk about a bacterial focus not really knowing exactly where it's located. Here you see a cyst that is formed years after a bad root canal treatment. The cyst has a blue edge and one can clearly see how the cyst has pushed the nerve which passes through the lower jaw or the red border to the side. This resulted in the patient complaining about a tingling sensation in the lower lip. The cause of this failed root canal treatment was, among other things, a broken instrument. This is another complication in root canal treatments that we talked about earlier. You see the white line in the anterior root? That is part of an instrument, which is why the canal was not filled any further. An x-ray image is used for simple quality control. Here you see a dental x-ray made of a badly filled tooth on the right and a well-filled tooth on the left. On the left, the canals are homogeneously tight, conical, and filled all the way down to the root tip, the white line in the x-ray. For an experienced practitioner, a root canal treatment is a simple and reasonable therapy for long-term maintenance of teeth. If the root canal treatment is executed well, the tooth may render good services for decades, if not one's entire life.